Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to add the validations in React.js. So let's start the tutorial. So we are going to use two things for the validations. First one, this kind of validations we are going to use. First we are using the formic, basically used for the uh, forms, build forms without the tiers. Okay, so building the form we are going to use, you can see that it has this much of weekly downloads, right? So we are going to use this built-in forms, okay? And next we are using the, uh, yup. Okay, you can see that the, this is also has uh, too many downloads, okay? Yup has basically a JavaScript schema builder for passing or validating a, validating a schema, right? So basically, yup is heavily inspired by the GOI. So we can learn GOI uh, soon, but before we are going to use the yup API. Yup, npm package. So what exactly it is? Let's start. First of all, you need to install the app. Okay. After that, how we are going to use it? So you need to define the schema over here, whether the name took the string, whether the positive integer, email, URL. So this kind of things you need to use to validate your form. Okay. So here you can see that check schema is validity, name is this, then function, then you can send it the val validate or true or false. Right. So here you can see there are so many examples of here. Okay. So let's see how we are going to use it. So first of all, here is the thing that is I have used Formic. Okay. So I'm using the Formic. You can get more deeper into this tutorial, Formic tutorial. So I have used this one. Initial value, first name, last name, email. So you can use this one and you can set the values. Right. So you can see that you want to change the values like this. So you can use this one. So I'm using the formic and you can see that when I uh, use this formic, let's set the initial values. I have set the initial values are empty. After that, I am using the validation schema where I'm using username, email and the password. Okay, first it, we will mention it as it should be six characters, right? On submit data, we are alerting with the JSON stringify fields and its values okay so you can see that here we are wrapping up with the error message so formic has inbuilt property of the error messages and so you can see that we have opened with the form of that formic also okay so these are all the messages that we are adding into it okay after after the submit you can see that when we submit this form okay on submit it will alert these messages okay so you can see that when we are going to the form, when I will go in this one, email. So you can see that register success message, username this like this, they are stringifying the values. Okay. So you can again reset it. And you, when you fill this, it will say that this kind of things are required. Okay. So whether you, uh, so this is for the, like we are integrating the app and the formic. So you can much go much more deeper in into this one. So formic docs is available here, right? So you can use that, how to set the values, how to change the values. You can use this, how to add the validations like this, like my must characters should be this, my values like this constant sign up form. So on submit, you can do something like this. Okay. So you can use such kind of uh, use the formic forms and yup validations in react like this way. Okay. If you have any query in this, just let me know about it. So this is the code that we have integrated. We have installed the package formic and yup package and the rest of the, we have the form and we are just adding the messages with the password. Okay. So any query in there, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.